Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, I am running a special in December on personal phone call readings. So there's a link in the description box below this video. So definitely go check that out if you need a personal reading with me or Brandy. All right, you guys, how you everybody doing? Hope you had a great weekend and a great Monday. Let's get into your reading for the rest of December and see what messages are playing out here for you. Okay. To have commitment, sexuality, and let's see what else. Oh, a couple of jumpers. Intuition and opening up your heart. Okay. Commitment. All right. Things are getting serious. Very similar to yesterday's reading, I feel. And sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. Also have intuition. The the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later. And also open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Okay, Virgo. So let's get into this. What is going on for the rest of December for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Oh my goodness, my table is so like dusty. Hello? What's going on here? You know me as a Virgo. Things got to be clean. All right, let's take a look. Commitment. Something's getting serious with someone, Virgo. Let's see. Who, what, what's going on? Are you in a relationship with someone or someone is? Are you or another person are thinking about taking something to the next level? Let's see if we can figure out who or what is going on in December. Okay, there's some kind of heartbreak. All right, Three of Swords. So something ended. Hmm, those are very contrast. Things are getting serious and I get the three of swords. Okay, so there's a breakup or an argument or a separation. Let's see here. What else does spirit need to say about this? What's going on with a breakup? Okay. All right. Somebody's making a decision. Oh, okay. All right. The decision is, <laughs> Virgo, let me just keep it real. Oh, um, all right, for some, there is a decision whether or not to take it to the next level or end the, the relationship, okay? So it might be you, Virgo, and you could be in this position right now where you're like, listen, if, if there's no commitment here, it's ending, um, breaking up. We're not doing, I'm not doing this. No FWB, no casual, we've dated long enough. If, um, if you're not interested in something more, then it's going to end. So if that's you, Virgo, it looks like in the rest of December, you're going to be weighing things out here, weighing your options, trying to see, you know, making a decision and or looking at other options or just weighing it. Okay, so yeah, I, let me just get one more. Okay. Okay. Oh, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Wow. Okay, that's different. <clears throat> so this feels to me like the same message. Um, no more. I feel like you're just going to be in this position at the end of December where it's like, okay, um, you already know what you want and you're not taking any less than that. You know, um, your concepts and ideas of the person or your desires with this person. Looks like you're you're losing <clears throat> maybe to focus on that anymore. Um, you might feel like someone is not um, really interested in something long term. But let's see How, what what is going to be the outcome for this. What is going to be the outcome? Is this person the Virgo's? <clears throat> have in their mind, in their heart, going to respond positively to, it looks like, I don't know, some bloody stump <laughs> energy here, Virgo, like, kind of like, okay, make or break situation here. Wow, breaking up like right at Christmas, jeez, harsh, but you know what? Let me see, what's the outcome going to be? Deck responds when it wants to. Ready? Are you ready? I'll come. Wow. Why are my cards in the reverse? Ace of Swords. 
<laughs> well, I can tell you this, Virgo. Okay. All right, the sun. There we go. It's going to be a positive. I feel like it's going to be a positive outcome. Um, I don't feel like this person is going to want you to, like, cut them off. Okay, because um, usually <laughs> with a big sword, it's kind of like, all right, we're done here. Like I'm, I'm cutting this thing off. You know, um, they don't want to stop communicating with you. I feel like um, it, it will get serious. That's the overall message. This person um, will take you seriously and will respond in kind in regards to to I, I don't know if it's an ultimatum i don't want to say it's an ultimatum but it's kind of like i feel like your energy is just listen this is what we've been doing this has been great really enjoy your energy very positive energy um and looking for something that will be successful type of a relationship and it looks like you're gonna probably tell this person hey well, what are we doing or not even asking what they're doing but just saying listen this is what i'm seeking are you in are you with me or no <laughs> so it looks like they're going to be like yes they're with you so that's good okay so the next thing you have is somebody's trying to figure themselves out maybe their sexuality uh, or it's, it could be you let's take a look and see what's going on with this okay wow death someone's trans trans make okay they just gave me the word trans so somebody's transitioning or yes um there might be um there might be um well yeah it's something to do with the, the word trans that's what they're giving me transitioning or um transforming there's definite okay there's somebody trying to figure out their sexuality that's that's what i that's what i'm picking up let me just get the rest of this here and see yeah somebody's not sure of who they are um <clears throat> which side of um like where they're at you know i feel like there might be someone who is maybe on the on the the border so to speak of um their sexuality so they could be bi um or they're trying to figure out yeah they're carrying some kind of heavy burden um and they're seeking peace they just want and it definitely has something to do with you know being in bed that's always my bedroom card so it does have to do with their sexuality uh, somebody is definitely trying to figure themselves out it could be a scorpio if you have a connection with a scorpio um the commitment thing also i want to say it could have something to do with a leo as well but um yeah it looks like there might be a, a scorpio who's trying to figure themselves out one more card here oh yeah that's that's the reason for lack of commitment Hmm. because somebody's not sure they have a lot of these thoughts and and dreams and things that they want um but they're confused <clears throat> somebody's very confused so if you have a connection with someone it doesn't have to be a, a love relationship um if it is they may not be committing because there's confusion about you know their own sexuality it could also be connected to you like it could be a friend or a family member and this might be something that maybe you don't know about and um maybe that will highlight some questions that, or answers that you're seeking um or you could know about it and maybe there's something here along the lines of you trying to um be a supportive person for that person or to be more supportive okay now it could be you as well virgo so you might be going through some confusion and are seeking support having some there's definitely an energy of having boundaries up and <clears throat> being very hesitant okay so it could be you now intuition red flags the red flags you ignore now will come back to bite later what red flags what red flags are here for virgo okay the hanged man you know what and instantly they said <coughs> passivity huge red flag passivity is a huge red flag 
Um, there's times I think in the in the world or in life to be assertive. Um, I don't, and, and then there's times to be neutral. But passivity is I, I think there's times to be passive but I don't know they're telling me something here that somebody's waiting too long for something they're 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 just they're, there's an energy of waiting too long um, and that's passivity it's it's like waiting too long even when it's time to act <clears throat> Somebody's not taking action. That's a red flag. Okay, King of Wands. All right, so there could be a connection with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. Um, this person is, like, taking too long. There might also be somebody here who's um, very spiritual, but you might be questioning that if they really are. They could be one of those people that goes around preaching and, you know, they wear symbols of holy symbols or religious symbols and or they're, they're in and out of the church but you know in their home life they're like not like they're two totally different people you might be questioning that or, or looking something along the lines of that being a red flag you know <clears throat> um, don't ignore it I feel like that's the message but you do have someone also here who's being very passive and that's a huge red flag that you need to look at somebody's not taking action yeah look at that okay seven of uh, Pentacles this is someone who's just like can't make up their mind um, should I or shouldn't I should I you know should I invest should I not this this person yeah, they have a lot of anxiety and stress, okay? They're, like, distressing themselves out um, in regards to making, taking some action, okay? Um, they have a lot of healing to do. Yes, there's a lot of healing to do. Um, I feel like there's a lot of confusion, except over here with this commitment energy, with someone, you know, coming in and, you know, with you saying something and then it, it working out. Um, that seems to be okay. But this, I don't know, big red flag is somebody not taking action. Pay attention to that. That's a big red flag. This person, like I said, whatever they're doing, they're, they're, they're acting one way, but then they're not doing anything. Like they're, uh, in other words, like they're, be they're being, they might be saying Yes, but then they're acting like no. Do you understand? So they might be saying to you, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this, and then withholding. Okay, big red flag. So pay attention to that in December, or the rest of December. Okay, open up your heart, Virgo. It will help you attract more love. Let's see. Could <clears throat> be an Aquarius also, or a Pisces <clears throat> with, the, with the red flag. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, look, you've got the nine of I'm sorry, the eight of the eight of cups. Um I feel like the eight of cups opening up your heart will help you attract more love. This is about you uh, going after things that are going to make you happy. Look at that, nine of cups. Yeah. <clears throat> but you have to take that journey. Okay, the journey of opening up your heart, yeah, will attract love. Do you know what I mean? So this is kind of like Taurus energy, the Hierophant, and the Empress. Um, you know, especially for the Virgo feminines, I do feel like <clears throat> there is this energy where I, I feel like with opening up your heart, you have to understand that the way you see yourself is not the way other people see you. Okay? Um, never. It's never like that. You can look at yourself from... You never, like, look at yourself on the camera and photos and you're like, I look like that? I, I act like that? I sound like that? Yeah, and you might not like it because you're not used to it. <laughs> Are you judging yourself? Sorry, I have this horrific, like, little cough. But I feel like um, you need to really start paying attention to yourself and looking at yourself and seeing how amazing you are. Um, you're glorious. That's the message that I'm getting here. Um, and it's time for you to start opening up and accepting yourself. That will bring you love. You know, I feel like if you have a fear of being alone or you just don't like to be by yourself, like you have to have people around you or you have to be in a relationship, that's really just a fear of yourself, you know. 
because um, it's a fear of sitting with yourself. And why is that fearful? Because you're, if you don't really know yourself very well, then you're sitting with a stranger. And it's often uncomfortable to sit with a stranger, someone that you don't know in like a quiet room. Imagine how uncomfortable that would be, right? If you don't know that person. And it's just very, not in the waiting room. Just saying like you and another person being put into a room, door shut, no sound, no music, nothing. You're just sitting there, nothing to read. <laughs> it's like, okay, should I say hello? Like, what do you do? Get to know yourself, Virgo. If you're fearful of being alone it's because you have a fear of sitting with yourself maybe because you don't like yourself or because whatever reason sit down with yourself and you know introduce yourself to yourself and allow yourself to become friends with you that's really important investigate understand who you are and that's a part of opening up your heart okay because it's about loving yourself and i feel like virgo um it's okay for you to do that. I, if like you really can't be happy in a relationship unless you're happy with yourself first. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like that's pretty much the overall message here, and it's more of a spiritual message for December for you. Let's see what else. Anything else for Virgo? Let's just get a couple more messages here. <clears throat> Make a commitment to love yourself. That's the message. And the rest of December. The next few weeks or two weeks, I think we have left. Two weeks, yeah, of December. Make a commitment to really love yourself and take care of yourself and 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 do things for your do things for yourself that pamper. I'm hearing pamper yourself. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here. What else is going on for Virgo? All right. Well, we're upon the holiday season here, so this is awesome. There's definitely going to be some family reunions or soul tribe family reunions, um, celebrations, parties, a homecoming, somebody returning home or you're returning home as well. You do have the 1111 here, so there could be like um, some weddings or engagements that you're going to, engagement parties. It could be your own. Let's see. I want to see something. Hold on. I see a couple of peacocks here. Holla. <laughs> Are there turkeys? Okay. There's you. Beautiful Virgo. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Here you go. There you go. <laughs> this feels too... There's so many messages now they're giving me. This is really just about settling at home with yourself for sure. Um, like I was talking about here with opening up your heart, but there's also um, a match made in heaven happening. You and another person. Okay, so we got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Earth sign to Earth sign. And wherever someone else is signed, like they have Earth somewhere in their chart, there is a match here between two people. Um, let's take a look and see. It, I feel like there's going to be a reunion between two Earth signs. Or a coming together, family, home, parties, engagements, weddings. There's a match. This is this is like um, a marriage connection as well. Oh wow, the world, beautiful. And there you go. I love this. This deck is like my absolute favorite. Happy holidays, Virgo. So a new chapter is starting. There's a new beginning. There's a new beginning. Finishing out the end of this year and starting something very beautiful with another person. I definitely see marriage, like I was saying, in your 2024 yearly reading, which you'll be able to click on that after this reading is over to go back and listen to that if you didn't hear it. But I do see you're going to be, if not married, in a long-term committed relationship in 2024. Yes, definitely. And that's every one of you Virgos. Every one of you. There you go. I'm about to end this reading right now. I swear, when spirit wants to talk, spirit talks. There you go, Virgo. The lovers. The, 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 it's just the lovers. Two people making a decision. The strength of two. Making a decision to come together, to be together happily ever after. This is beautiful. And this energy will, I feel like, begin playing out around 
the last week actually of December. So uh, definitely going into, um, let's see, yeah, the last the last week of December is Christmas. So, happy holidays! Last Christmas, give you my heart. Look at that page of cups and the two of cups. So there's definitely going to be a meet up. There's going to be a connection between you and another person. Um, your equal, your match, your other half. There's going to be maybe even apology for some of you coming from someone or you're giving one there will be sweet communication text messages phone calls at the end of the year like the last week of december or the yeah like pretty much around the holidays around christmas december 24th 25th all around that energy i'm um, all around that area so oh, i love this oh my gosh let's see if we can find out the chinese sign in the person you or this person who will be You'll be making this connection with, um, and it could be like this person here in the beginning where there's going to be um, uh, a decision to get serious. Let's see. And then I'm gonna we're going to get into money right after this because I do want to see what your finances are going to look like in the last few weeks. The last, what do we got, two weeks left? Am I losing my mind? Yeah. All right. Chinese sign. Okay. Year of the Goat. Year of the Dragon, Year of the Pig, <clears throat> oh, Double Pig, Year of the Horse, somebody's name is Renee, <clears throat> Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Rat, and last but not least, Year of the Dog. Okay. So either you or this person, if it's none of you, um, don't worry, it's not your, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Let's take a look at your finances, Virgo. Let's see how money's going to go for you. Money's tough, you guys. It's been tight for everybody. <clears throat> it really has. It has. I was looking at the, just the groceries, just to get the, oh my gosh, I'm just like, I'm just going to have water and I don't know, bread. I think that's going to be it. I'm going to make my own bread. All right, let's take a look. How's Virgo's money going to be looking the last two weeks of December? What's Virgo's money going to look like? Money for Virgo. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're just going to pull cards and see. All right, Virgo. Wisdom. You are called to serve as a mentor for someone or as a role model and guide who can show the way. Use your wisdom and experience. So you might be training somebody the last few weeks, making money at that. You've got freedom. You need to have more flexibility with your schedule and your income, Virgo. Being self-employed is ideal. Time off will help you get clear. Okay. All right. You also have a frozen. There may be a hiring freeze or no new work now. Being aloof, aloof can leave you out in the cold. A warm follow-up gets you in the door. Okay, very interesting. And you also have the future. Plan for the future while living in the present. <clears throat> you are always supported by spirit. Your psychic abilities can bring you prosperity. Hey, listen, Virgo. A lot of my Virgos are psychic. Absolutely. Some of you even read the tarot cards or, you know, do all kinds of psychic things. If this is something that you're working on or you're thinking about getting into, um, Put them to good use. You can be prosperous financially with um, getting into some kind of business where you're using your psychic abilities or in that realm, you, whether you're using them or channeling messages or selling products that are connected like um, crystals or stones or um, performing Reiki or doing any kind of these alternative spiritual type practices that you might want to do on the side or just something you might even enjoy just doing for friends at home or um, things like that. Um, 
it looks like you you would do very well at doing that so i feel like that's what spirit's trying to tell you <laughs> my goodness this cough i can't even begin don't worry about me i'm fine i think i was like i was outside earlier and i think i must have inhaled i don't know maybe like um something in the, in the air some dust or something all right i just want to get some messages of love for you see what your messages of love are here oh okay someone feels remorse for the way they treated you there's regret and they're probably going to tell you and you can be completely open with this person so you can be vulnerable um someone's going to open up to you first virgo the last like i said couple of weeks um but in the rest of december somebody's going to open up to you and you can be open with them there will be healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting and healing there's balance one person is giving too much in this relationship so it looks like maybe virgo um let someone come to you and um start some dialogue with you so that you're not pushing to try to get someone to talk okay give someone some truth like for example if you have to tell somebody hey listen um I don't know listen even a business needs an inventory check let me tell you what like every three or every month or two months or three months and it should be the same with the relationships it's kind of like sitting down so how do you think we're doing how do you think our relationship is what things do we need to work on that kind of stuff it's okay to do that <clears throat> obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement so I do feel like um, don't try to fix somebody else don't try to um, be the one that holds up all the pillars of a relationship. Somebody else needs to come forward and hold hold up their end, you know. Um, and if you are doing a lot of giving and giving and giving to try to compensate for someone, um, someone else's void in a relationship, it's time to get your hands off of that and allow another person to have a turn at coming forward. And if they're not giving to the relationship, um, it's kind of hard to give to a relationship when the other person is constantly giving to it. In other words, doing all the work for the other person. You have to let people participate, right? So if you are in that position where you're like, you know what, I did and this person didn't participate, then you don't, then you don't go back to doing it for them. Yeah, so I feel like that's the overall message with those obstacles there. All right, let's see what else we have here with some letters initials okay we have 1989 someone is 25 someone is oops, 56 okay september 15th august 25th september 1st we have the letter h um let's see who virgo's significant other is in this reading so we have a cancer and a capricorn okay what other numbers initials do we have let's see Okay, September 11th, 1969, 1963. Someone's, uh, oh, so, well, first it said January, and now it says August. So two birthdays there. Okay, someone's name is Theodore, <laughs> or Ted, I just heard. Okay, someone's name is Devin. We also have, oh, DVT. Why does that sound familiar? DVT. I don't know what that means. I've heard that before. <clears throat> Somebody might have DVT, maybe diverticulosis. Okay, so initial D as in David. V as in uh, Vanessa or Victoria or Velma. We have a T as in Ted. Hey. All right, let's see what else we can get here for you guys. Any other initials or letters okay <clears throat> all right we have the initial j uh i just heard nina okay um initial w <clears throat> we have an a letter f and somebody's going back to their maiden name going back to their maiden name or is has just changed it or is using their maiden name or thinking about going back to their maiden name if there was a marriage okay, what other 
numbers do we have here? We've got 11 again, September 14th, someone is 60 years of age, August 29th, um, 1990, significant year, could be somebody's birth, someone is 61, um, someone's born in 72, <clears throat> September 4th, and January is here again, maybe January 4th, that is a connection to that date. We also have December 3rd, connection. August 1st connection. January 1st, that's 111 connection. February 2nd. <clears throat> and September 1st. Okay. Let's see what your charms are, Virgos. Let me dig down into the pile here. Alright, let's see. What did you get? Oh, look. Oh, this is very Halloween ish. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's very Halloween-ish. Okay, so we have the bat again. This is a different bat. But you have the bat. And you have... I'm going to show you. You have the moon and a kitty. So something maybe very significant happened on Halloween. Or that's your favorite holiday. Okay. Um, yeah, this is definitely a message for someone, something to do with Halloween. Either something significant happened around Halloween, October 31st, um, right before, right after. Something shifted, something changed. Um, or this is just specific for someone here that, like that is, I'm not kidding. This, whoever, it's somebody here, their biggest, most favorite holiday is Halloween. Okay, there's a connection to that. Like, there's some people who are just like, oh, I like Halloween and I like Christmas and all, uh, you know, whatever holidays. No, this person is like, I don't care about nothing else but Halloween. That is it. That is me. I was born for that. So that's a big, strong message for someone there. All right, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. And um, I will see you all back here very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.